home. It's in ruins. But why? What happened here? And where is everyone? I had a look in a few of the other houses, but they had clearly been abandoned. Damn it all! None of this makes sense! Excuse me? Are you looking for someone? <laughs> I apologize for giving you a fright. However, I did have reason to keep to the shadows. Sorolta has told me a great deal about you. Sorolta? Greetings, and welcome to the realm of Alexandria. I am Sphine, the Queen of Reason. Queen of Reason? If you are the Queen of Reason, is there perhaps a... Yes, if you mean to ask if there is a King of Resolve, Zorulja holds that title, and together do we reign. Then you are both behind the attack on Tulishola. And I doubt you're here to offer us a warm reception. No, you have it all wrong. I am not come to fight. Zorulja rules alongside me, but that is a matter of expedience. In truth, we are at odds, he and I. It is at considerable risk to myself and my people that I come before you to beg your aid. Our aid? I'll admit I cannot imagine King Zorolja is keen to share and share alike, but if what you say is true, you're still the queen. Indeed. But I was once the sole ruler of Alexandria. Until one day, he appeared, bent on conquest. In my weakness, I feared his power. So I persuaded him to forego violence and strike a bargain. I would remain queen, and he would receive technology that would empower him to achieve even loftier ambitions, along with the knowledge to use it. A gamble, to be sure, but if it might spare my people... If I may, the dome surrounding these lands was erected but recently. How is it he was able to not only invade, but instate a new system of leadership in a mere matter of days? I've never heard of your realm. And this place is, or at least was, Yasulani. The house I grew up in is still here. But three years ago, that tower and these strange contrivances weren't. Nor was our village in ruins. Where did you come from? And what happened to the people who lived here? You must know! I realize how confusing this all must be. Truth be told, 
I don't fully understand it myself. What I can say is that one day, people from your Tuliolol suddenly appeared here in Alexandria. Or perhaps it was we who found ourselves in Tuliolol. Until but recently, we were completely unaware of events taking place beyond the barrier surrounding our realm. Does this not remind you of the Crystal Tower? How, after the Eighth Umbral Calamity, we devised a means to transport the Spire across time and space from the Source unto the First? Granted, this is on a much larger scale, if that is indeed what has happened. Not only the people and structures, but also the surrounding environment. Regardless, the people of Lakeland perceived the arrival of the Crystal Tower much as the Queen describes her own experience. Sudden and inexplicable. Well then, you appear to have a better grasp of our circumstances than we do. Indeed, more than I dared hope. In which case, a closer examination of the effects of this phenomenon may afford us more insights. Allow me to take you to the outskirts. A number of the Shatona live there as well. Perhaps your acquaintances are among them. Hold on. If we accept, there's no guarantee we're not walking into a trap. But if we're to defeat Zorolja, we need to understand how he grew so strong. Besides... Ah, oh, you're right. Queen Sphin, before we go, Your Majesty, I have to ask, did you really have nothing to do with the attack on Tulihyola? Noble Wuklamart, shall we dispense with the formalities? I'll not deny the soldiers and airships that attacked your people are products of Alexandria. But it was Zorolja, not we, who fashioned them into weapons of war and laid siege to Tuliolol. So he alone is to blame. No, I may not have prosecuted this war, but I nevertheless bear responsibility for it. Perhaps. I know next to nothing about you, let alone what you've been through. So by all means, show us around. I think we'll learn a lot from meeting your people. <gasps> Wonderful! If you would follow me! or suspicion. If things should take a turn for the worse, might I call upon your aid? <laughs> I jest, of course, but you do strike me as the most capable here. <laughs> 